Welcome to The Skinny, everybody. And we're starting off with Dancing with the Stars once again because we have some actually sad news to report. So two people on the bottom, uh, box boxer Victor Ortiz and Real Housewife Lisa Vanderpump. Now, you would expect that one of the two of them would go home because they were at the bottom. Not the case. The person who actually went home went home because she's injured, and this oh. is Dorothy Hamill. She's yeah. kind of injury riddled throughout this entire season. She got 15 last night's dive, not good. It had all kinds of mistakes in it. Anyway, she's leaving because of a sad reason. She is an Olympic um, medal gold medalist, and she's an athlete, so she has a lot of injuries. Take a listen. I, I've taken the advice of my 16, spine yeah. surgeon, and I need to withdraw from. The competition, I have an injury that could be um, irreparable and nerve damage, and it would be completely unfair for me to stay in this and have any of these people go home. 56-year-old class act, if you ask me. She's going home, she's going to attend to her injuries, and that means everybody else is safe. 11 more contestants to go. Justin Bieber, let's start with him. He, he's, he's making our news oh boy. on a weekly basis. He's back from Europe, taking a little break from his tour. He has to go back to Munich oh, soon. But anyway, he didn't, he didn't waste any time uh, making the headlines. A neighbor is accusing him of battery. Uh, a neighbor in his L.A. community, apparently the sheriff's department confirmed to E! News that the deputies were called to the home shortly after 9 o'clock and there was an incident with a neighbor. It's under investigation, no arrests, no charges, but there is uh, some kind of accusation of battery from He's a neighbor. And I, I believe there was talk that he was driving his Ferrari up and down the street, so it might have something to do with uh, that. He's 11 years old and he weighs two pounds <laughs> soaking wet. There's no way he did any, 19, anything by the to way. anybody. He's not such a bad kid. I mean, I guess he's just acting out a little bit. Yeah, 19. Come on. You 19, remember when you were 19? We were all doing all kinds of I crazy things. I remember speeding around my Ferrari like it was yesterday. Yes, I me too, with my tattoos all over my chest, taking pictures of me naked all the time when I was 19. Really? Yes. I believe those it's are on all the internet. Twitter. I believe those are on the internet. <laughs> it's all over Twitter. Look them up. Okay, now for another man who's been in the news quite a lot lately. Um... Mr. Tiger Woods, this is actually, we're going to go from one and then go to the, th we're going to start on the nice end of this story and end with maybe not so, something not so great. So, uh, Tiger Woods' new girlfriend, Lindsey Vaughn, you see her there, she tweeted out number one and 45 exclamation points after that. She's obviously very happy that her new boo is doing very well. He is the number one golfer back to reclaim yep. his title for yep. the first time in two and a half years. Very good. Now, the second thing which is causing a little bit of controversy is apparently Nike has a new ad out. Yep. And Nike's ad says winning take care, takes care of everything. And it's Tiger Woods that is in the ad. And so a lot of people are saying, you know, there it is. So the winning controversy is kind of, of like everything. if you win, you can pretty much do whatever you want. E I guess some women are kind of right. offended by this. Premise. Some women are a little offended. A PR expert apparently said that's not what you do. You get everybody fired up. But if, you, if this is not Nike that's in trouble, Tiger Woods actually said this stuff. And listen, he's not talking about the women. He's just Mr. talking Tiger about Woods. sports.